This book might be confusing to some, but keep in mind throughout my book that this was a very confusing world I lived in. The cover shows a photograph of a playful 11-year-old J.C. Dugard sticking out her tongue and a pine cone, the last thing from her South Lake Tahoe neighborhood she touched before being dragged into Philip and Nancy Garrido's car. The now 31-year-old titles her book A Stolen Life. It's a memoir of her 18 years in captivity. When I saw the cover of the book, I did cry a little bit. I did shed a tear. Why is that? I just, she was robbed. The book is already a bestseller. People arrived at bookstores bright and early to get their hands on a copy. I just feel like we have to support her, anything that she does. Inside, Dugard shares family pictures from before the abduction, baby pictures of her two daughters she bore in a backyard tent. Also diary entries she hid from the Garritos during those 18 years. She never even said her own name. Philip Garrido forced Dugard to change her name. So for all those years, she was called Alyssa. Let's get one thing straight. My name is J.C. Lee Dugard. Some memories are harrowing. The rapes, the abuse, the loneliness, the physical restraints and mind games Philip Garrido played to keep her there. He says the door is locked and reminds me of the dogs outside that don't like trespassers and says to them, I would be a trespasser. Other memories are heartwarming. The longing for her mother, her will to stay alive, and the new hope and comfort she felt after giving birth to her daughters. She dedicates this book to them. For the times we have cried together, laughed together, and all the times in between.